Roxy, what did I do? <laughs> oh, there's no going back now. But look at all that room for activity. We're gonna make even more room when we get rid of this core support. Oh, now here comes the hard part, putting it all back together. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> It's all for your guys' entertainment. All for all for you guys. That's all it is. All right, so now I need to make a template to cut out, a, you know, a boxing plate for right here. And here's a little tip on making these kind of templates. It's pretty well known. Most of you guys probably already know this, but I take my, you know, my template paper, whatever I'm using, and I grab like an old screwdriver that has a hard handle. And you know, the dirtier the better because we're gonna put this up here, make sure it's covering the whole thing, and then just rub it with the handle. And the dirt's gonna transfer from the handle to the paper and give you a nice clear outline. It helps if you start with clean paper. This paper's been around for a little while. But yeah, give you an outline that you can cut out. Then you got yourself a template. tell you what this little harbor freight plasma cutter has done me so well I, I cannot complain 300 bucks bought it off a dude it's probably stolen but it was brand new in the box and this thing does actually really well I I love this little thing it's actually not that bad outside right now it's like 95 a little bit of humidity we've been having a lot of rains here in Arizona it's monsoon season so the humidity goes up a little bit but the temperature goes down so it's uh it's not too bad but still gonna close the garage and enjoy my air conditioning <laughs> uh i don't like doing a lot of cutting and stuff with the in the garage with the door closed because it gets real smoky in here and the smoke detector goes off in the house and plus roxy can come out here with me come on I'm trying really hard to TIG weld more because I spent all this money on a TIG welder, well, a multi-processor welder, MIG and TIG, and I haven't really been TIG welding anything. I wanted to learn, so I'm, I'm forcing myself to TIG weld all this, and man, it is a pain in the ass. I'm about this close to just MIG welding. I could have been done with this by now, and the time it took me to tack that on, I could have had the both sides welded if I was MIGging it. But, Oh well, we're trying to learn new things, we're trying to progress, new skills, all that, so let's keep going. I'm gonna be honest with you, this TIG welding stuff, it's not very fun. I already uh, branded myself with a hot filler wire, wasn't paying attention, got done welding, touched it right to my wrist. Uh, I've had to sharpen my tungsten about 15 times because I keep dipping it. We're learning new skills, guys. Learning new skills. I really don't know what I'm doing, but 
trying. All right, we're making something out of it. I mean, it's not terrible. Like I said, I've this is probably the second time I've ever TIG welded something. Still gotta do the bottom. Probably gonna make the bottom. <laughs> when I mentioned that I was gonna tube the front end of this, I hope you guys didn't like expect some crazy elaborate like pro mod tube front end because I mean there's really not a whole lot you can do up here. I mean it's 18 inches from where I cut the frame off to where the bumper was. So there's just not a lot of room to do like a whole bunch of elaborate stuff. Besides, I don't have a tube bender, so I'm limited to just straight tubing. Um, so all it's really gonna be is two tubes coming out, and then I'm probably gonna do one across just to, to brace it. And then maybe some little, cause I've gotta cut this core support. Um, this part here is for the headlights. So without the core support, I wouldn't be able to put headlights or the grill back in. So I'm gonna end up cutting this core support and leaving the grill mount, probably just the one grill mount, drill another hole there, and then I'm gonna come down and cut and make this headlight bucket part of the fender and get rid of the rest of this. And if I'm creative enough, I might make it so that the bumper is attached to the fender somehow so that the whole front clip I undo the bolt at the cowl bolt down in the bottom in the wheel well on each side so four bolts and the whole clip just comes off you know unplug the headlights four bolts whole front clip comes off um, so the front here will have to have like some sort of a like, I don't know, interlocking piece or something that like two tubes, a tube that can fit inside of another tube on the front here so that when you put it in, it locks in and then just bolts in the back. But like I said, that's only if I get real creative and this doesn't take too long because I, get, I need to have this truck done here really soon. So all this extra stuff is just adding more time, but I think it's gonna make it better in the long run. So we're gonna keep going along with this tube front end. Um, Cutting up, getting my measurements, figuring out um, how long of a tube. It, like I said, it was. I measured it before I cut the frame off. It was 18 inches from where I cut it off to where the frame rail stopped. And I, I saved the bumper mounts and I welded this bar in between them to keep them in the exact place that they were so that I can hopefully just put these back on to the bars where it needs to go It'll make it a little bit easier but yeah it was 18 inches from where I cut it off to where I cut these off so I'm probably gonna add probably a half inch to an inch and if I need to I can trim it off later but that will give me some extra tubing to put these back on so let's keep going
All right, so I got the bars tacked on. I've got them on a little bit of an outward angle. And that's because I needed it to widen out a little bit so that I can fit my radiator down in between it. I got a little bit of the core support still in the way, but I just need to, oh yeah, plenty of room. I mean, by the tape measure it fit, but you never know. But it'll be tucked up in there further. This is gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice.
bottle. I got the bar structure intact everywhere. I scooted this out. This line right here is where the core support stopped. And so I scooted it out just a little bit when I was fitting the grill and the radiator and stuff. There wasn't a lot of room to the water pump, so I scooted it back just a hair. So now I've got this bar tacked in. Everything's solid. So now I need to work on cutting up the core support. So I'm going to bolt it in, let the fenders hold everything while I cut around the headlight and and all that stuff kind of like I was explaining earlier all right so let's get to cutting this thing I'm gonna leave this section here because that's my hood pin so then I can pin my hood back on so I'm gonna cut down right here along this low spot come down and then so right here is a grill mounting location and then I'll probably just drill a hole through the grill and use this one so it has two bolts holding it the other one's out here but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave that so I'm probably going to come down here and then cut over this way, basically come around where this headlight was and then go back this way following that line right there. Probably can't see this black marker on this black background but my silver marker dried up on me. I left the lid off of it. So something like that and then I'll probably put another bolt through here. There's a hole here but nothing behind it. Probably put either another bolt through there to help support this a little bit and if it's flimsy still I've got some like quarter inch round rod that I'll build like a little uh, frame around it and weld to it. That should stiffen it up. but. I've seen where a couple guys have actually done this before and, and they just left it. So all that's left to do now is cut it out.
All right, now the headlights are part of the fenders. And I think, I think once I bolt it there, right now they're kind of floppy, but I think once I bolt it there, it'll be okay. All right, guys, that's all the time that I have for today's video. Don't worry, we'll catch right back up on this thing in the next video. So stay tuned, guys. A lot of good stuff's coming up. Until then, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.